and it's recorded. Perfect. Yes. So I'll start. Share my screen. Uh, share the screen. Share. So right now you should see my screen. And, um, Oh, sorry. I forgot where is the button. What? PDF. And as I said, I put the PDF inside the uh, Inside common, so if you want to find back all the contents and all the links, because there are some links useful inside. So, is it working? Yes. Waiting. Okay. It's for waiting for people to come, I guess. Yeah. So Lixim in Dagbani, yeah. So first I will remind what is a Lixim. Uh, basically, Lixims are words, but words is a big word that mean a lot of things. So when you ask a linguist or lexicographer, what is Lixim? Uh, they say that it's a lexical unit which means that it's a unit of language that has some similarity. Uh, especially, a lexeme exists in one language and one language only. It has what we call a lexical category. What is it? For instance, is it a noun? Is it a verb, an adverb, a, a pronoun, uh, adverbs, whatever? And it has several forms. We will see it. Uh, it's not just one word as it's written. It's a group of words together that make a word. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm clear or not. Again, use the chat if you have a question. Uh, it's so also has uh, senses because one word can have several senses depending how it's used. Uh, it's not exactly always the same thing. I'm sure you know some words that mean different things. Um, and also, it has uh, a lot of uh, data, uh, like uh, what gender it is, what group of conjugation it is, what is the etymology, pronunciation, features, whatever. And also, there are some traps. So that's why I want to talk to you about, because I'm working on Nixims, and I'm correcting a lot of uh, small mistakes that are made. Uh, in Lexim, in Dagbani, or in other languages. Uh, for instance, you can take the word building or bat, which is not one word, it's several words. So, um, yeah, I will do it the other way. For, for instance, building, is it the action, building something, the verb, in fact, or is it a building, a noun? Same for bat, is it the animals flying in the forest, or is it the bat you use in baseball or cricket? So in a phrase like, I am building a building, it's in fact, for Lixim, it will be considered, it's the same word as it's written, but it's two Lixim, different, different Lixim. One L16 is a verb, the other one is the noun. Uh, and we click on it and look at it. So, oh. There's a little bug at right now. I need to purge the page. Sorry about that. Purge the cache. Yeah, no. OK, there's something wrong in the presentation. It's not supposed to be like that, but ah, it's supposed to be like that. OK, so you see that you have a number. Like, if you know Wikidata already, you used to in the URL. And here you are reminded it's one specific unique number for this word, you have what we call the, the main word, the main lemma, which is in English, it's a verb. So it's also said, for instance, an example of data, as I said just before, instance of irregular verb. And it's also as a, what we call a nomograph, which is an overlay seems with the same sequence of letters, but it's not the same word in the end. If I click there, for instance, I go to a separate one, 
it's a different word. And in here you see it's a noun and not a, not a verb. Uh, you have an identifier, which means, oh, I am not sure what this word means or where does it come from. I can look in another dictionary. Uh, it's like on Wikipedia to make sure it's correct or not. You put references. It defines it the time fire can work that, that way. So you have senses. Here you have just one, but it's meaning it's the verb to create, to build, okay, to build something up. And you have the forms. As I said, the first one is the simple past, uh, present, simple present, uh, present participle. And here you see building, as I said before, uh, is here. So what is important is that you need to be reminded that there are several forms inside the lexeme. Uh, yeah, it's a bit strange, but if I take, I'm oh, sorry, again. The noun building, a common form is, I'm so sorry, there's a bug in the interface. It's not supposed to look like that, but whatever, it works. Uh, you have building as a singular for a noun and buildings as a plural. So for noun, very often you have two forms, one singular, one uh, plural. For verbs, you have often very, very uh, uh, big number. Uh, in English, there's not a lot. In French, for example, there's a lot, like almost 100 forms for all the past, present, future, imperfect time, uh, first person, second person, singular, plural, whatever. Uh, I don't see the chat anymore. I hope everything is okay. No question on the chat. Perfect. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, so as you see, on one and one only like same, you can have several forms. It's all the flexion, all the different way you can say the same words. So the same for bat. There's bat, the animal and bat, the the tool to play sports, uh, it's two separate lexemes. Um, is it OK? Yeah. Um, some statistics, because I, I, I looked on the Dagbani wiki source. Uh, Dagbani lexemes, how well it is. Uh, I use a tool called Orgia and so um, other tools uh, to see how many lexemes they are already and to compare with them with other languages. So for instance, you have uh, this number of lexeme, 11,000, more or less, and it's growing fast. That's good. Uh, you have a lot of senses. That's also very good. Uh, so you see that for all languages, you have uh, on the 14th place. If you look here at all the languages, you see all the other languages, it will show up. So for instance, German is the first one, very going strong. Russian, Estonian, English is the uh, fourth one. And if you go further, you have all the other languages and you see here, uh, Dagbani is here, so that's good. Uh, it has a lot of senses, which is very good because senses uh, sometimes are forgotten. And it's important because if you put a word and you don't say what it means, what is it? Uh, it's a bit useless. So you're supposed to always put at least one sense. So here you see you have more sense than lexemes. So it's very good, more than one average, very good. And if you compare to other languages, you see it's the ninth. So it's better than other languages with more lexemes, very good. Uh, and it has almost the same number of forms, uh, 1400. But here it's not bad, but it could be improved, let's say, because the, it's almost the 13th place. There's 28 language with more forms. Uh, as I said, for instance, I work in French and in French for the verbs, we put a lot of forms. So we have a big, big number. Um, and here we can expect to have like at least twice more because for each lexeme, as I said, for the nouns, you have at least a singular and a plural. If it works in Dagbani, because I don't know Dagbani well, but I'm guessing that you have uh, several numbers, several forms for noun or for verbs of uh, everything. You are supposed to be most, almost all language have several forms. Um, so yes, what's good, but it needs to be way better. 
there's a lot of improvement to do here. Uh, I gave the link to the tools. Kolia, if you want to see more. And if you click, yeah, that's what I wanted. If you click on the language like Vanille, you see more uh, precision on the things. And you see uh, instance of example of words and uh, things like that. And you see that you have a lot of nouns. That's usual, some verb, adjective, numerals, adverbs, pronoun, uh, intersection, ideophone, I'm not sure what it is, proper noun, verb phrase, number, etc., etc., and some strange things here that probably maybe are mistakes or exceptions to be seen. Okay. And you have also, I, uh, I did a, what we call a SQL query, this link to look how many people are working on Lixims in Dagbani. And I see that the big community already, so it's good. Uh, that's the number is for each person, uh, that the 10 person who did the most edit, that's the number I did. And you see that uh, there's people with uh, a lot of edit, actually. You see that I'm here, I, I, I am the 10th participants in Dagbani, mostly because I uh, corrected errors. Uh, but I'm still I'm here. That's good. Uh, it's very good sign to see as a, a community. Uh, I think that Sadiq and other people are to thank for that. Uh, but what I saw is that these people uh, don't contribute a lot. They contribute a lot and then they are gone. They don't stay, which is a bit bad. You, it's better to do a little bit every day than a big one. Uh, so, but everybody work as they want, so it's good anyway. It's better than other languages, so that's good. Uh, and all the people don't know well Wikisource, uh, Wikidata and Wikidata Lexemes. So sometimes they do some mistakes. That's explain why I'm here and I'm correcting some of the mistakes. But well, that's already good. And it's the number of edits. So sometimes people do a lot of edits on the same Lexeme. Uh, some people are more efficient and do less edits for each Lexemes. That's how you prefer it. Um, yes. Um, why is it also, I want to tell why it is important to work on Lixims. It's not just for the Lixims itself. Uh, there's a lot of ideas and tools that can be met. Uh, if you have structured data like it's on Lixims, it's also important to, this is why it's important to have all the data in the right place because for the tools reusing it, they expect to have some things. And if the things are not there, you cannot use it. Uh, for example, you can do uh, generating dictionaries. Oh, I want a dictionary of animals in Dagbani. I can do a query and the tool can generate all the animals in Wikidata, but animals um, or whatever. Uh, you can do a spell checker. Uh, for instance, if you write a text, you want to make sure the text is correct. You can say, oh, look if there's a lexeme existing corresponding to this or not. And it can be used as page checker. It can be used to learn languages or do things like that. Uh, you can also uh, connect it with uh, pronunciation, uh, some sound files. Uh, when you can record the word, how do you say this or how do you say that? Uh, it could be useful for all the things on your phone when you speak and it understands the language or the other way around. If you want the computer to speak to you in Dagbani, uh, they need to have some training on recording. And maybe someday there will be, uh, it's already open, but it's still the beginning. It's called Wiki Function and it will be uh, used as a brick to build uh, abstract Wikipedia which will be the ideas to generate a Wikipedia article automatically from Wikidata with the help of Lexemes. So you can take, uh, I don't know, a city located in a place. Uh, in Wikidata, it's just basic data. If you want to transform it inside uh, an article to put uh, real sentences and everything, uh, you need Lexemes again. So that's why it's important for me uh, to work on Lexemes. And it's why it's also important to have all the forms, for instance, the plural, because uh, if you want to say this city and this city are two cities in uh, Ghana or whatever, uh, you need to have the plural of the word cities in Dagbani. 
Uh, otherwise, it will not be possible to construct uh, the samples. And uh, that's for the general representation. I don't know if you have question already. Is it something you already knew? Is it new to for you? You can tell me. Uh, I can answer some question if you want. And uh, otherwise, the idea is I'll show you some things and how to improve it. I will start doing myself some small contribution, but then you can do it if you want. No questions? Ah, I see. I, I see hands. Go on, put your mic or write it as you want. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much, uh, Vikron. Uh, I think the session has been interesting so far. I just want to find out, uh, are there documentation for the tool you have used um, somewhere, either on YouTube or on Commons, that uh, we could basically look at to tweak it for other purposes? Uh, and uh, second question I have is um, with regards to leg sims. Um, how many properties are ideal for uh, a leg sim? If I create a leg sim, what are just the most important properties I need? Yeah. And what needs to be done to make it actually more connected to other leg sims? So thank you so much. Very good question. So for documentation, there is some documentation online. Uh, here, for instance, you have a big page uh, uh, about Lexims. No, it's not the right link. Why is it not working? Strange. It should be good. Yeah. So you have Wikidata lexicographical data documentation where you have everything I already said with more explanation. That's why I did a very short introduction, because if you want more explanation, you have everything here. What uh, What is supposed to go where? Uh, what is a lemma? What is a form? Form statement, senses, and everything. And some example, and I will show example. It will be the best for you to, to see. Uh, and it will answer the second question, actually. Uh, what is a... Uh, I will take French because I know French, but we can take, uh, no, we, we will take English. It will be better for everyone. Book. Uh, so what is always needed? It's not possible to create a Lixim if you don't have uh, a lemma, a language, and a lexical category. That's the very, very minimum. The, these three things are absolutely needed every time, always. It's a technical minimal. And uh, then what is expected? To be ideal is to put at least one sense. And again, I don't know why it's a bit broken. I need to purge the page. It's a bug that's appearing since last month, maybe. And I'm not sure why. Yes, like that. So you have uh, at least one sense and at least several forms. So here you have it's basic book in singular, and you should have books in general, plural. But you can put other things, like I said, a recording, pronunciation audio is a very common property. Uh, IPA transcription is very common, but it's personally, I never do it because I don't know how to speak that, so I don't use it, but other people do. Um, and it's good to have uh, identifiers, but here, I'm not sure, I, there's no identifier now, I think, for Dagbani. Uh, because identifier is a link to an online dictionary. Uh, for instance, here yeah, it's the Oxford Dictionary, uh, which is strange for some reason, whatever. Uh, book now, not, it's, it's the one. Uh, but I'm not sure there's database or things like that in Dagbin. So this is something we can discuss maybe later. Um, and basically, that's it. But we will see more examples. And Sadiq, you had a question too? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, it's also interesting to know that like uh, so many people are creating like sims and at least add them senses without forms. So um, it, it was good that we have this uh, discussion with you to understand um, some of the 
most important things to consider when like uh, working on uh, lexemes, especially for one of the languages like us, which is currently being part of the focus languages for the pilot of abstract Wikipedia. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we are leaving no stone and ten and just making sure that we are doing the right thing. And sometimes we organize like events for newbies and they just learn how to create lexemes, but they don't know the be best practices, what is required and what is correct and not what uh, what and what is wrong because the presenters or the trainer may not get the chance to like tell them all the do's and don'ts of creating lexemes and yeah. stuff like that. Just like Wikidata, more um, people create like Wikidata items uh, wrongly and they don't even like search um, the right you know, topics that they create, they just make duplicates on Wikidata. Others use like a quick statement to import like wrong information on Wikidata and stuff like that. Um, my question is, has there been um, like a tool? I know um, Yon mentioned something like that. I don't know if it has already been developed, like a tool that can be used to create like forms, Lexin forms. Is there a yeah. tool like that? Um, we will see that actually, <laughs> because there's no tool. I see there's a, also a question about tools in the chat. Uh, the tool are new to me. Uh, so everything around wiki function does not exist yet. It should come in the next month, maybe in a year. Uh, but we are not here for generating uh, uh, automatically yet. Soon, I hope. Because as you say, uh, Dagbani is a focus language, so it should come quite uh, quite soon. And uh, the tool for gener uh, automatic generation of forms or things like that, it's also uh, not for Dagbani yet. So there's thing you need to do maybe there also. Uh, we can talk about it uh, further. So no, not that, sorry. So, and I shared again the slides that I'm using are already online. So if you mm. want to use it, uh, please do. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show the example. It will be more better for you. So here, for instance, is a, again, I need to third the cache. Sorry about that. So here, for instance, there's, I think it's a mistake, but you need to help me. Uh, Zaim, which in, mean apparently fish, uh, it starts with a capital letter. And I think it's an error. It should start with a small letter. I know that at, at least here in English, it's clearly a small letter fish, not a big letter. And I think it's the same for Dagbani. Uh, do you, does someone confirm it's a mistake? Yeah. So the idea is here you put the word as you would use it in the middle of a sentence. Uh, it's not specific. Uh, it's not like in a dictionary. When you put it in a dictionary, you usually start with a, a big uh, capital letter, but here it's not needed. Because if you want to reuse it to do sentences, it has to be written like inside the sentences. Uh, there was a question about a common property. Uh, this one has quality inanimate. Uh, I don't know how Dagbani works, but I've seen that there's a lot of animate, inanimate words, apparently. So it's apparently important for you, so you should put it. I'm guessing it has some impact for other things. Uh, so here there's a senses. Here there's an image. Some people like to put images, some people don't. Personally, I don't because uh, you see the other property here is very important. It's the property item for this sense, which allows to connect, I will put it a bit bigger, uh, an item to a, a lexin to an item. So if you click there, you go back to the Q152, the big concept in every language, the, the thing you usually think uh, when you think about Wikidata, you find that. That's usual, okay? And here you already have an image. So if you want the image, you don't have to put it. You can put it if you want, but uh, it's not necessary. That's optional. Here you have a second uh, sense. And here I'm wondering, is it really the same word, which has two sense, or is it two lexemes 
like bat and bat for the animal and for the cricket uh, baseball tool. Uh, here, I don't know that Benny, so uh, this is a thing I, I cannot correct myself, but maybe you should do it. I don't know. I'll leave it here now. Um, but it's always, this part is not always simple because, uh, for instance, bat and bat, it's clearly two different lexim. Uh, or building and building is two different lexim. It is obvious because the first one is a noun, a building. And the other one is a verb, uh, to build, uh, I am building. So it cannot be in the same place, obviously. Uh, but when it's two noun, uh, you are like, oh, is it the same noun or not? Uh, you have to look at the senses. Sometimes a, no a noun does have multiple senses. It's not always a mistake. Uh, it has, uh, for instance, if something is different there, is uh, one is animate and the other in, inanimate, then it's two different lexemes. It's, if it's the same, it's probably the same lexemes. And also you need to look at the forms. Uh, if it's the same plural or the same uh, feminine, masculine, whatever, uh, yeah, gender can be a way to tell if it's two lexemes or not, then you split it or not. So here again, you have a small mistake here. And you see that here you have a noun. And also, this is a mistake because it's not the noun is already said. Here you expect something like singular, uh, plural, verb, uh, not verb, uh, present tense, person. Uh, I'm guessing this is singular. I will leave people correct uh, afterwards if it's not. Uh, here you have again the same one. So here it's something very strange because if it's the same one, it should not be a firm except if you have something else to say there. So I think it's, uh, is it the same pronunciation actually? Hold on. Yes, yeah, seem to be the same. So I think it's also a small mistake, but I, I like mistakes like this because you do most of the work. I, I adjust to do the small thing at the end, the thing are there. And there you have a uh, same as a verb and think that the aim is like building a noun and a verb. And here I, I'm pretty sure it's a, a mistake. And I will uh, remove it. And uh, But here I have only the singular, that's probably a uh, plural that someone can add maybe. And I see that here the first third sense is uh, measuring if it's ENG. I'm guessing it's the verb, it should be moved to the the verb also probably except if it's measure the result of measuring i'm not sure um, i leave it to you maybe you can tell me in the chat um, what you think if it's the same lexeme or not if, is it is there a verb with the same uh, the same word in the end um, but you see that it's mostly good um, uh, what did I saw as a mistake? I wanted to show you uh, something. Oh, ah, yeah, ordia. Uh, because if you look all the languages here, you can search for a specific language. Like uh, if I want French, I can have uh, French, Old French, Middle French, Louisiana French, French Sign Language, and other thing. And if I put Dagbani, I see that there's a mistake. There's one that was indicated not as Dagbani, the language, but as Dagbani Wikipedia, which is not a language. So I know for sure it's a mistake. I can click on it, go on Wikidata, and correct that here it's not Dagbani Wikipedia, it's Dagbani only. Publish. Yeah, another question, Mohamed, go on. Uh, thank you so much. Um... Please, I need um, a little clarification about the, the two ways you just showed. The one that represented the fish and the other one representing the um, the tape measure. Yeah. The other one called Zyme is actually fish and the grammatical feature. Uh, I saw, I don't know whether I got your uh, rights. What are you saying? The, 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 the person kept noun there. Oh, did yeah. you say that was a mistake? Yeah. Then yeah. the other one, um, the other one that has the tape measure is like the word actually means like to measure. 
the 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 zem in the Ghana in English we can if we could translate it as to measure, like to measure something. Okay. So the person just kept the measuring, and that he kept um verb there. So it's actually showing an action, like to measure. Yeah. So thank you. So I want a, a little more clarification. So yeah, as I said, you put the what we call the lexical category noun at the beginning and only at the beginning. You don't have to put it when you are in forms here. You here yeah, you can put everything. That's the mistake maybe of the interface. But if I want to put a dog or anything, it's there. It's a bad ID, but it's there. So if you put noun, it will suggest noun, but it's all, almost always a no. It's always a mistake. There's no exception there. So that's why I removed none there. It should be only at the very beginning. And since you confirm that uh, uh, measuring is not, it's a verb, not a noun, so I can remove it here. And it's actually a good example because now I can create a new lexeme, which will be Zaim and which will be a good explanation. And I'm not logged in, sorry. I will move on. You see my screen still. Uh, create a new lexeme. I will put it in English for you. Sorry. Oh, I can put it in Dagbani actually. I don't speak it, but that could be Dagbani. Is it working? It's not translated for some reason. Maybe you should work on translating it. Anyway, and I hope that uh, Dagbani. Dagbani or Dagbani? What is? Uh, I will go again in English. Sorry, I'm confused. English. So Zaim as a verb. Uh, Dagbani. Dagbani. Yeah, this one. And I will create it as a verb. And you see, when you create, you absolutely need to put that. If you don't do that, it's not working. Uh, I have a specific things which put big yellow thing to not forget two things. So for instance, I can say to measure. I put it in English because I know it's in, in English, but you can put it in every language you want, especially it's uh, relevant to put it in the Dagbani in its own language, of course, but I will let you do that. Uh, in French, it's mesuré then. And I know there's at least uh, Zaim. And here I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's the infinitive. Infinitive of the verb. Uh, but again, you can correct that. And this is what needs to be done every time. And uh, here we can add also a statement to say item for this sense. Uh, not item for this sense, actually, predicate for. Uh, because item for this sense, it's when it's exactly the same, uh, a noon and a noon, for instance, dog and dog, bat and bat, or building, a building, building. But when you are using an action like a verb, you use a uh, action that is declared by this verb predicate, predicate for. And uh, measurement, that should be measurement, uh, sorry, measurement. That's it. And this is the bare minimum. It should be every done every time. You can do other things like, I don't know the pronunciation, but if someone has the pronunciation, you can add it here, maybe. Pronunciation, uh, pronunciation audio. I think there was something like, uh, uh, like that, and the other one. Uh, the measure, yeah. that's the one, perfect. I hope it's good. Zan, okay. Not Zain, Zan, sorry. Um, and since I know there's another lexeme like with the same one, it could be a little trap. So we put homograph lexeme to say, oh, don't mistake this one with, uh... oh, actually that was already a verb. Oh, I did a mistake. I created something already existing. Dagmani to measure. Oh no, that's the one I'm already on. Why is it? No, there's two verbs. 
I think there was another one, um, the rust. Yeah, there's this one also. I'm not sure why. Because it's a verb, but it has a grammatical gender. Is it possible? And oh, but actually that's a good example because here you see that there's two senses and somewhat put uh, the description in uh, Dagbani and in English, but I'm guessing it's the same. It should be as I did before, both here in English. Uh, I don't know. Asses. I don't know. I will not touch it. But what I can do for sure is uh, linking from one another to say, oh, be aware there's other one. It's maybe or may or may not be the same. So this one is the one I'm there. So this one, I guess. So if you are on one mixing, you can say, oh, I know I'm looking for the same word but not the same mixing. And you have to do it both way, homograph. Uh, so I am on the noon, so I'm putting the verbs here. Uh, and the second verb, perfect. It's maybe the same or not, I'm not sure, but at least it's better. That. So you've seen the creation of, um, and if you have a, I looked quickly that Bunny dictionary online, but there's not a lot. There's this one that is very often, but uh, I'm not sure it's good uh, because it's very, uh, it's good, but it's probably very short. So there's not a lot of things. The, oh, Zayn is actually here. Fish to measure, oh, it is there. So perfect, I can take it and say, oh, I don't know what it is, uh, everything, but if you want to know more, uh, Describe, describe that URL, what is it called? Uh, in French, decrit a URL, described, sorry. And I can say uh, it's in page, what was it? Uh, it's here, is there a number of page? Yeah, 206. So this way you can say, oh, I'm not just saying that. Next space. Oh, sorry. No, something is wrong. Ah, spaces need to be replaced, but that's okay. So this way, it's not just me saying, oh, there's this verb or this word. You can say, oh, I know it's a verb to which mean uh, actually, it's mean a lot of things to measure, to wait, to dream, to examine, to test, to be to become rusty. So there's something with rust here. Um, so all of these are supposed to be added uh, as multiple senses uh, to wait, to dream, to measure, uh, to wait. Oh, sorry, wait. Uh, in French, uh, pusé. And I can make predicate for uh, and writing uh, mass. That's it. Uh, could also be used as reference. Uh, what could be used as reference? I think you forget to put a link or something in the chat. But thanks. If you have other references, that's even better. I think I think he's talking about using the digital dictionary as a reference. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I, I'm not. I I don't know that many. So I don't. I, I don't know if this dictionary is good or not. But if you can use it, please do. Um, there's a lot of things, and I'm looking for an example. Uh, where it's clearly said, I don't know. Um, and you see, that's counter example. I say it's always starting with a small letter, but when you have a, a proper noun like Wednesday is apparently al uh, here it's a specific case, so it's normal that this one starts with a, a big letter. 
capital, but most of the day it's a small letter. Uh, I don't have other example, of course, but okay. Um, yeah, we have 20 minutes. So if you want to test thing, create uh, the link I copied. Okay, perfect. Uh, go on, try. If you have already, I hope you have already have a Wikipedia account. You can look into it. And if you want to start with something uh, easy, you can, I'm closing everything. In the last slide I did, where's my slide here? Yeah. Uh, I put what we call a Sparkle query. So I, I put again the link, create a Lixim. If you forgot what it is, you have a link there. And uh, there's uh, what we call the uh, queries. And this is a query to list all the Lixims in Dagbani uh, without a sense. So here you have a list of things. Um, this one, for instance, and I will not pronounce it badly. So up to you, but it's an adjective in Dagbani meaning something, but I don't know what it means because someone forgot to put the meaning here. So if someone to improve it, uh, you can do it or you can create new XM or whatever. And maybe we can talk about the example together. Uh, maybe this one was actually in, uh, I can go back to the, uh, open it there. Molu, I'm not sure. No. Ah, it doesn't, not seems to be inside this list. B, oh, that's a very big dictionary. No, not that big, big. Then, Or if someone know what it is, please do it uh, directly. It will be easier than me looking for a, a word I don't know. Um, and Mo, Mo, Mo. Um, no, it's not in this dictionary, so I don't know what it is. Uh, if someone knows, you can add it. Uh, I see there's a question. I think they meant announcement equal in English equal molo. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what they were, they were trying to do. And also, yeah, I think proclamation sort of like, yeah, that 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 is it. The thing is here, I don't know that Bani, so I will not touch it. It's your problem because you are more, uh, <laughs> you, you know the language. So you know, oh, it, it's a mistake or not. So when it's big mistake yeah. or obvious one, I will correct them. Like uh, before, yeah. uh, there was Dagbani Wikipedia instead of Dagbani. Clearly, I yeah. know it's a mistake or things like that. Mm. But when it touched to the senses, I will not mm. correct it because I don't know enough. I will let yeah. you. And yeah, it's probably. So here it's a noun, but here it was a... called an adjective. So maybe there's a small difference to be checked. Or maybe yeah, so I think adjective was just, also a mistake. Yeah, we should fix this. Uh, we can fix this by changing it to molo. And then... There's already molo oh. as a verb. Oh, OK. <laughs> but... But... Um, molo, I, I, I think it's possible that that word too might be there. What if it was molo? As we are thinking, Molo is a um, is an is a noun. So it's possible that that word too could be there because the person described it as a, as an adjective. Okay, so I so let's do... leave it for now. And I see that there's a verb, which is probably uh -huh. to announce. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. And there's a good example. It's it's not always just a noun. It can be several words together. 
like uh, Molumuna, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but here, I, here there's a sound tone crier, so you see someone doing announcement. That's good. Yeah. That seems to be logical, but you have to put everything together. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, go on for the question. Yeah, I think um the, the earlier word is the correct word, like the molo, like the molo, that word. So it's an adjective, I think so. So it's a word. But 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 you are you are saying it as malo. No, but it's molo. The, the, the one the one that molo. is molo is not malo. It's not it's malo. Not, so, um, not malo, molo, the molo. The no, molo. There's not I don't think there's Hello. a word like molo. No, then uh, uh, that, that one wouldn't have even come with it wouldn't have come with double O. Yeah. Molo would have been and, just and, uh, one O. I, I, I also want to. I also want to, like, believe that there's no word like Malo, um, like uh, Molo, as the way you are referring it to, like Shito. You can say Malo, which is like the correct Dagbani. I don't know if there's you are speaking, uh, using like a different dialect. But what I know is Malo, is what we are referring to. But Molo. If it's not a proclaiming or maybe an announcement, like uh, don't... what I'm saying is that uh, uh, okay, I think danced... somebody somebody wants it. Okay, you can go on. I you think have done was... something that someone is like uh, the mala, like the molo. Yeah, so the... we use I we use a for for that. Then the malo, the malo, the malo Hello. not the molo. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. okay, so I think Simon has something to say. Yeah. Go on, Simon. Go on. Simon. I don't know, but uh, yeah, we have a word like that in Dagbani. Uh, in my area, we have a, a word like that describing the nature of something. For instance, in Dagbani, uh, we can say something that is weak. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Obiyama Mulu, something that is not uh, strong or that that is very weak. We say the Kubiyama okay. Mulu or something like that. So it, okay. where I am this coming one, from, we think, use that way. Yeah, I think this also makes sense to me in that regard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's why it's important to add uh, references to know what you are talking exactly. Because if you just look at the world and you have no information, you see exactly what happened there. You are not sure what we are talking about. So someone who is sure about itself, or if better you have a reference or a source, whatever, please add it. And you talked about mm. uh, dialect. That's very important. I'm working also on uh, the, the Lexim in Britain. It's a Celtic language spoken in west of France and uh, Ireland, Scotland. Uh, and sometimes I have different things uh, depending on are you speaking uh, the main dialect, the standard, or other thing? And we have a way to say uh, this one, for instance, the, the, the good one, the standard one is Livurian with a E, but some people put a O, people from the south, Livurian, instead of Livurian. And you can put a property which is called variety of lexeme informal sense. And I say, oh, it's from this dialect. So if you have a specific dialect, sometimes it can be useful to use this property also. Um, and yeah. I see talk. Um... Sito, I want, I'm curious to know if this is coming from one of the dialects because we need to know like, uh, so that we can pay attention to that. I know different dialects uh, have different way of pronouncing things like that. So we can correct it once and for all. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think the word is uh, malo. Malo is a verb phrase. Okay. 
So the Mali and the O will be separated. Yeah, it will not be one word. Mm. So then we have to create uh, another lexeme like that because uh, Molo is something that we just discovered from what Peter said. But I don't know the lexical category for that. Peter, how would you yeah, describe yeah, that? Molo... Yeah. Achire, Achire is right. How's that? Yeah. It's certainly. So, so Achire, Achire uh, are you suggesting that we create a different lexeme instead of correcting this one to the same thing? I, I think you need to both correct yeah. this one. So maybe this one maybe maybe we can leave this one, and then um we can uh, discuss it later. The the way the word might be might be existing anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we don't have to uh, push it aside. Maybe we can create another one, another yeah. lesson like the Malu. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I think so, what should be done. And please oh, try. To then, then what if 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 it's an adjective? Then what Peter said about this is correct. So we just need to create a different lexem like um, actually suggested. Because I didn't know how to categorize that, like the lexical category for malo, uh, molo, which from what Peter described is correct. So if it's actually adjective, then I don't think we should change this one. We just need to create a different lexem like actually suggested, which is ma lo or malo, ma, malo. Or something which is the, the thing i'm sure oh. about is that in this dictionary there's molo as a noun proclamation mm -hmm. and yet right now we don't have a lexeme for that so i'm sure that this lexeme need to be created and maybe the other mm. one uh, i'll let you decide if it's a correction new lexeme or whatever so because this one is mm. a verb but maybe it's not a verb at all it's announcement uh, i don't speak this sentence so i will let you read it mm, molo this is still um this is a noun this is not so this is probably this one molo as a noun yeah and i know that announcement is we go to big a so as i said no verbs here never and uh, probably a noun and then, uh, yes, this one. And it, since yeah. it's a noun, I can put this link to say, oh, I know it because it's come from there. Uh, describe URL. And it was page, uh, what page was it? Page 116. And I'm using this dictionary because it's the one I have uh, online. But if you have a paper dictionary or other online dictionary, you can use them also. You use online dictionary with describe uh, at URL and uh, describe uh, by source, I think. Yeah, by source. And here you need uh, to have already a Wikidata item for the dictionary, like uh, Lexic Etymologic is the one I'm using for Breton. It already has. Uh, Benny, there is already a dictionary. Like Benny. Dang. Okay, so that is when it's an uh, it's a oh, hard copy one. dictionary, right? Sorry? Is it when it's a, a hard copy dictionary? If it's a hard copy, this one, for instance, my first like Benny dictionary, I don't know it. Uh, but apparently it's a printed book. Uh, and Crass created by Masley. So it should be good. Uh, it's a print copy. So you need to create first the item and then you can use it with describe by source. If it's online, describe that we read. Okay. And this this way with references, we are sure what we are talking about. And is it non-adjective? Oh, I don't know, but it's right and there. So I took what is right. And maybe sometimes books are wrong, but then you look at several books or things like that. Okay, uh, maybe you want to talk about something other than Molo. Um, uh, so um, if we have a plural, a, a plural version of this, that will come under the forms, right? Sorry? Like Molonoma, the plural form of Molo, Molonoma. Molonoma? So it will be a form and uh, uh, 
Uh, the better is you you do it. I will give a link to Molo and you do it directly because uh, I don't want to add uh, wrong things. Uh, where is the discussion? Yeah. And I see that there's a good dis discussion. I will talk about that later. Um, uh, is there a settings that met the yellow blink? Yes, there is. It's actually, if you go in my, uh, I don't know if you know scripts on the commands. On, um, but please, go there. Um, please, sorry. The question Dian was asking, sorry. The question Dian was asking as whether like the Molo is announcement here. So if it's like announcements, the plural form of announcement, so will it come under the form? Yeah. La, this I'm guessing okay. is the singular. So you need to add singular and you create a new form, add form for the plural. But try it, do it. I will refresh the page and see. Maybe some friend, someone did that already. No, it's not done yet. And yeah, for I've the big yellow part. Uh, where I've is done it? that now, so you can refresh the scene. You did it, perfect. Voilà, perfect. Plural, molo, nima, apparently. I will trust you. Uh, and this one, molo, is singular. True. You can do it, put singular, perfect. And uh, yeah, I want to talk up about also uh, uh, Peter Simon is saying that uh, we should be careful using this dictionary. Uh, I'm guessing the one online because most of the world doesn't match the writing system in Dagbani, orthography. So that's uh, indeed something very complicated. You need to be sure what you are using and it's if it's good or not. Um, Sometimes you want to have multiple orthography. Uh, again, I will take an example in Britain because I have a, a word that is a, a mess. No one is sure how it's written. Britain noun, you. So this is a V, but it's pronounced O in Britain, you. And that's why I put uh, the multiple forms. You see you written with you uh, as it was because it's another orthography. Uh, but I put here a small thing to say, oh, it's not the standard orthography, but it's very common to still use this old form. So you can do over orthography, but you need to make sure uh, they are properly tagged. Or you can stick to the standard if you prefer. Uh, okay. And I see there's over discussion. Please, it's Molonima. Oh, in, in one word only. Yeah, you can correct it yourself. That's, that's the spirit. Do do the direct, uh, correction directly. Yeah, correct it. Perfect. And every time, um, sure, most of you know that, but you can go in the history, and you see, oh, who did that at what point? So, you did correction directly. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Uh, but if someone else, you can say, oh, why did you create this one? You can talk to people and say, oh, why did you do that? But yeah, I know that this person, I think. Oh, no, they are still contributing. So maybe you can ask them, oh, are you sure we wanted to talk about that or that? Oh, someone who actually last week is still working on uh, things. Shimmy, for instance. Oh, that's a good example. So. You may want or not to add images, but it's never here as the main part at the top. If you want to put images, it's we take it, remove it here. It's never there because, uh, oh, you see, again, I think there's a mixing somewhere, beetle and to fry. I'm guessing it's not the same thing, but if you want to put an image, it's always there inside a specific sense. And uh, to fry and guessing non no no that's ah, that's not good never known there for what I'm sure so maybe some other people want to do good but they do some mis and this is actually the same one so remove it completely so maybe we you need to talk to each other 
also as a community to to make sure everything is all right. Uh, and same, this one is said to be both feminine and masculine. Maybe it's possible. I don't know how that body work. I know in French and Breton sometimes words can be tricky and have several gender, but that's strange. Uh, so yeah, there's a big number of correction to do. Uh, I okay, hope... so a quick question. Yeah. Um, if it is if it has feminine and masculine gender, then I feel it should be neutral, so that um it means it can be used for both sexes, right? Probably yes. Uh, I'm not sure because this depends on languages. In French, we don't have. Uh, it's because uh, depending on the context or depending on other things, they, they are not both always at the same time. They are sometimes feminine, sometimes masculine, or they are masculine in the main dialect. In some other dialect, they are feminine. So it's not both. It's not neuter. Uh, it, there's no true neuter in French or in Breton. Uh, but maybe there is in Dagvani. That's something I don't know. Uh, but I know that in other language, like uh, in Swedish, uh, there's things like that. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I know at the beginning he's mm -hmm. talking a bit about the bunny. I, th I think that way, that way, chimney is is an insect, and I don't know how easy it will be to identify the gender of that insect. So uh, I think it's safe to put it uh, like, a, uh, like as a neuter. Yeah, instead. probably. OK, but you can do it. And I think there's a lot of things to correct. So don't don't be shy, don't hesitate, especially if you're sure and if you have uh, sources or things like that. Uh, maybe you can talk to each other to make sure everything is good. Uh, what did I want to show? Yeah, and uh, you see here. I did some basic query, Lexem, Index Vanny, we would senses and we would forms. So here you have a novel list uh, that maybe you can correct uh, thing words like that. Uh, and I know that it's a noun that here. So at the very, very least, you should always copy at least once the main form here should be also a form at the bottom. And it's also an animal. You know? Apparently, and this one is neuter actually. Why is it again? Sorry, purge this page. Okay, so this one is an animate, uh, an animal, and it's indeed neuter. Yes, yeah, so it's probably the right way. You are correct. I'm hoping. And there's homograph, so there's uh, probably uh, a non and another non. So this one is a lion. This one is something else. I don't know. That's strange. And there's discussion again. Oh, yes, very good uh, point. Uh, we'll take, open up uh, this tool. Um, so no, not this tool actually, enfin, that's the right tool, but I'm using this part actually, if he wants. What is it? Ah, that's, that's the one. Um, yeah, I can talk about that a little bit. So this is a, a fun tool, which is done uh, every week. And every week, uh, the, the, the person is uh, giving you a list of concepts. I will go to English again, sorry. English. So you have a Wikidata item about general concepts like paint, Painter and varnisher, paint brush, paint roller, bucket, and masking tape on uh, primer. Okay. And uh, each language is trying to find the word 
for this concept. So it's fun to do that together and to say, oh, I'm the first language to do it. Uh, and uh, which is fun, it's sometimes in a language you have several words that are synonyms. So you have different lexem. You see for painter, uh, in, in German, you have Anstreicher, Lackierer, Malerin, Malerier, Tuncher. I don't know, probably some uh, small differences, so synonym. So like paint, it could be Farbe or Malfarbe, which is actually uh, color and painting color. It's the same. And it's good to work all together to, to do things uh, in multiple language. So this this week, it was a bit strange. But if you go indeed in the archive, you can see that in uh, over, um, um, I don't know, vegetables, for instance. Could be a fun one. I'm not sure why it's slow. So yeah, it's not always possible for each week to do all the words in your language, because sometimes I don't know if you have a eggplant or carrot. I know that in Britain sometimes I'm struggling to find the white word, but it's funny to work um, all together uh, on this one. And uh, you see that in English, uh, eggplant or bergin. Yeah, English, for instance, has several words to say the same plant. Aubergine, which comes from France, and eggplant, which is English word. So that could be a, a tool to uh, um, to give you idea on what to work. And sometimes you need to create the lexeme, and sometimes the lexeme is created, but not linked to this item. So sometimes what you have to do is just go to the item and add a item for this sense. So for instance, painter can be the painter, the artist, the one doing a big thing in museums, but it could be also the guy painting in a building. And in some language, it's not the same word. In some language, it, it is the same word. So you need to put both sense. It's uh, important to say, oh, it's both this and that. And uh, you see it's a painter and painter vernisher. Uh, and in French, we say peintre en bâtiment, painter in building. Uh, and that's it. And in these tables, there's a link to uh, Wikidata Lexem tools, forms, which is a tool uh, to help you to create a word, but I don't think there's deck bunny there. Uh, check. Danish, Dutch, English, no, there's not. So I will take uh, Espanol, for instance. Uh, and you see that, oh, you need to be connected, but that's something. Uh, it gives you example of uh, singular and plural, or for instance, uh, a verb. It gives you all the thing you need to put, infinitive, first person, singular, present, uh, first person, plural, present, and everything you can enter it. And you know it will be at the right place when you create it. So you can win a, a bit of time like that. Uh, because there's no that bunny, you cannot use it yet. But you can go on the documentation, actually. And uh, there's an explanation on how to add it. Uh, language support. Ah, that bunny. Uh, what is he saying? The following language uh, after session, but no template yet. Under template, still need some work. We will take a look at the venue. So apparently, there are several uh, types. It's it's good also to create this template uh, to make you think how does the word uh, look and work inside your, your language. So here, for instance, the first person who created it said, oh, there's been animate and inanimate known in Dagbani. Apparently, they work differently. So yeah, this one is not finished. So there's points that need to be filled there. So you have animate singular plural and inanimate singular plural also. And you need to fill in uh, yeah, the label. If you look at um, uh, English, for instance, should be a good example. You need to build a little sentence 
saying, oh, this is the dog, singular. These are the dogs, plural. And it will be the example. And you, if you complete that here, yeah, and you tell it to, uh, oh, I see that. Sadiq, you're here. You should have finished that. It was two years ago. Uh, anyway. Can you uh, drop the link in the chat? Yeah, I will put it again. Uh, and then when it's finished, you can. I think I was trying to create, I was working on it and <laughs> other yeah, thing no came up and I. <laughs> yeah, when you finished, you need to say to ping uh, Lucas Werkmeister, which is doing this tool, and uh, you can put it live on this tool. So the link to this tool is there. Discussion. And uh, it's not working because you need to add uh, that by me. Why is it there? Um, add uh, example sentences. On... Yeah. And right now there's just noon, but you add uh, adjective, verb, whatever you need in Dagbani. Uh, I know that for some language, uh, there's a lot. Like, uh, for instance, in Britain, it's it's a very complicated language because you have a lot of types of noon. So you have noon uh, starting with KTP or with the letter G, D, or B, or with the letter M, and they don't behave the same. And because I always forgot, oh, what do I need to put? You see, if it's starting with a K, T, or P, there are six forms. And it's, if it starts with the M, there's only uh, four forms. And I'm always forgetting which one is which one. So this tool can be useful to make sure I don't forget to put one form somewhere. And there's three singular and three plural, because that's how button works. It's a bit strange. Uh, but it can help you if you want. So maybe you need also to add uh, uh, masculine, feminine, or neuter, or whatever. Uh, yeah, go on with a question. You raise your hand. Uh... Yeah. You can. Yes, um, thank you. My question is with regards to usage examples. I've seen that in a lot of German and uh, I think uh, Spanish lexemes. Oh. Yes. Uh, Please can you hear me. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. An example. Is this something uh, that is also useful for our language at this level? Yeah, yeah, it could be very useful. Uh, but uh, there's not always not all all people put it the same way. So, uh, I think indeed in German they do it quite well. So if I look at teacher in German. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot that again. Forward wait. One example there. No, uh, I will look for the property uh, example. Look same. I'm not sure I would call in French. Usage example should be this one. So yeah, in English, for instance, and again, this is broken. So yeah, you see there's an usage example of the adverbs uh, kindly. He was kindly Uncle Watt, uh, blah, 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 blah. And you say, oh, uh, it's an example for this form or for this sense, because sometimes you have, here you have only one sense, so it's not a problem, but to be precise. And here, apparently, something taken from a book, so you can, uh, it's taken from the Guardian, so you can put a reference to say, oh, it's not uh, something I invented, I find it somewhere. So for instance, if you are not sure how a word is used, or is it uh, molo, malo, or something, you put an example and it's more, it speaks to people, oh, uh, I see an example, now I see what you mean. 
So that can be done also, but not everybody agree on how it should be done. It should be just example or example, uh, example that you invent, you imagine right now, or example that you find somewhere. I prefer to, to, to take real example that I found somewhere. Uh, it's an attestation. It's not just me using this word. It's someone else also, but that could be very useful in, in, indeed. And you see also combines. I didn't talk about that late before, uh, but uh, Molomona actually could be using uh, uh, combines and it's made of uh, Molo, I think it's uh, uh, announcement norm. Was it this one? Yes, that's the one we used before. And uh, Mona, I'm not sure if it exists or not. It does not exist yet. Which is probably city or something like that. I'm guessing with town crier, Molo Mona. I don't know. Uh, but you can say, oh, this word is made of other words. So combined mixing could be also useful because if you say, oh, this one came from this one, you need to work on all the words to make sure everything is right. It's a good way to navigate from one to another. Or, uh, for instance, in, in uh, English, it's a bit obvious because kindly or all of the adverbs is something plus li. Yeah, Sadiq, gone. You're on mute. Hello, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, so in this context, um, for Dagwani, combined uh, lexemes could be uh, like for Molo Mona, which means Molo as an announcement, and then Mona means the announcer or announcer. Ah, so okay. we're going to have like two separate lexemes in terms of like combined lexemes. Okay. Then okay. the Mona will be like uh, the uh, announcer. Okay. announcer. Okay. So announcement and the announcer. And it forms like one word in the uh, band, Molo Mona. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's not at all like in Tom Cryer in English. Okay. No. My bad. Uh, but Mona alone exists. So you can create as Alexim, and this way you make sure you have everything at the right place. Mm. Okay. Uh, did somebody try to do something? Yeah, go on, uh, Shitobu. Yes. Um, I have seen um, some phrases being created as lexemes, like no pain, no gain, and other similar phrases. Yeah. Um, is it possible we could also create some for Dagwani? And yeah. how about sentences or clauses? Or is it only limited to phrases? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Again. Sorry, um, sorry, you lost me. Um, I was asking, so is it only for phrases or clauses or sentences can also be created? Uh, it's it's for uh, proverbs or if if it's uh, what we call a fixed locution, it's not just any example. You, uh, my name is Nicolas Vigneron, is not Alexim, for instance. That's just something I invented right now, but no pain, no gain, or uh, uh, be cool as a cucumber or things like that, uh, that are known by a lot of people. You can find references and things like that then yes, you can create it. And if you create proverbs, that's a good example where you can use uh, uh, Lexin. I think if we go back to Ordia, actually, I think there is a, some, I will look at Degbani again. So like idioms and proverbs are all qualified to be created, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And if we go there, uh, because you have the longest words, Oh, there's some strange things. I think it's oh, this one. I think it's errors that need to be corrected. Yeah. No, that's not a proverb. So that's okay. But this one maybe is a proverb or a sentence. Something very long. Maybe it's correct or not. I will uh, let you make sure. Monopoly. Okay. And here, I'm guessing you can combine all the parts and say, oh, it's made from that. And I see there's, uh... oh, 
thanks, Peter. That's a good point. Uh, Molomona should be one word instead of two. That's something that need could be recorrected. Go on. And there was some mic issue. Someone wanted to talk, I think. It was not clear. Or not. And if there's no more question, uh, we can end there for today, at least. Uh, what I I suggest you do try things, and if you have question, you can uh, ever go on with Sadiq or go on directly with me. My name on the project is uh, Vigneron, so you can just go to discussion and ask a question if you want. Where is the discussion? Uh, maybe if there's one or two last question we can greet right now. Otherwise, uh, please try stuff. Uh, good luck. And uh, I hope we will have uh, fun and keep going strong on the exams. And was it corrected? This one, Molomona? No. No more question. Uh, did we lost? Some people or not? Did I lost everybody? No, you are so live. Okay. Uh, no more questions. Thank you for your time. Perfect. Uh, it's my pleasure. Um, I will try to do some basic correction, but I hope you will. Keep going strong and do correction yourself. So, uh, okay. thank you, a everybody. Quick, a quick, a quick last question. Um, yeah, go on. Last question. Yeah. yeah. So, as a community, we yearn a lot for queries, and sometimes um, writing the queries is, is a bit tedious. Um, yeah. We currently have a contest that is ongoing. Um, we would like to find out: is there like a query that would be able to give us? Um, in the last one month, the number of edits made for whatever queries, or uh, uh, like the number of edits made by a user on query, uh, sorry, on a particular exam. Uh, not really, no. No, uh, if you do Sparkle query, you don't have access to all the data about uh, edit on users. So in Sparkle query, it's not at all possible, obviously. And if you use uh, the SQL query that I use in my uh, spreadsheet, you can have big data, like for all deck bunny, how many people are taking part, but not for a specific Lexim or something like that. So okay. yeah, that's all we have. And if okay. you look at my slides, you have uh, the link to the big query uh, for, for the whole language Lexim in deck bunny. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, and uh, yeah. thank uh, thank you, Sadiq, for inviting me. Thank you so much thank for the insightful discussion. Yeah, I'm glad okay. I helped. All right, so thank you so much. Uh, we've exceeded like 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, this was yeah. really, really, really useful um, for our community because, like, as he mentioned, we are currently running a contest on Lexims. And I think the last question uh, she told me ask was just to uh, be able to like measure or have a, an idea of who becomes like the winner within a particular period of time, like one month. So if the contest is for one ah. month, uh, who is the winner from one month period? Who did the most work on election? Because what we showed was for like uh, a lot of contributions from the previous uh, like months. So if you want to specifically determine who the winner is, uh, as far as the contest is concerned for a period of like one month, how would you be able to do that? I think they've been trying to use um, um, like the outreach dashboard to determine exactly. the end. Yeah, so which I think would be more useful in that regard. Yeah, so- Yeah, you need to use the, 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 just... the dashboard and then you need to filter like in Excel or Calc to keep on level X themes or things like that. There's no yeah. easy way to do it. But with yeah. our switch, it will be good, I think. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time again. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I'll reach out to you sometime later when yep. I take them through the forms again. Uh, we hope to like engage you more. Um, we want to like continue to contribute to the Abstract Wikipedia project. I had a very good discussion with Danny at Wikimania yep. about uh, you know Abstract Wikipedia and um, Wiki functions also. So. Uh, I think we are waiting for his feedback on what else we can do um, to be ready for wiki functions and to also be part of the, you know, the languages that are working um, on the abstract Wikipedia project. So generally, it's been like an amazing session for me. And we thank you so much for your time and we really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Perfect. Any more questions? <laughs> I think we are already over time, uh, but if you have okay. question, ask me uh, directly online or you can, maybe we can say that in two or three months, you can do one more, do it again. That would be, that would be excellent. Yeah. That would be excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah.